How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash. And welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to generate patterns. And before we have our discussion, click that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool, clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners, today's lesson is all about how to generate patterns. For the objectives, it's very simple, do we generate patterns? But before we know how to generate patterns, we must know first the definition of a pattern. A pattern is an arrangement that we usually found in comparable objects. Example, if we consider the wheels of every vehicle in our whole entire world, the pattern is very simple. It is round. Now, that may be a common sense, right? However, if we also consider the pattern of t-shirts, it has four holes. The first is for your torso, the second is for your neck, and the two holes are for your arms. Though, this pattern is commonly used and being a kind of a rule in our day-to-day -day basis, but that is what the concept of pattern is. It is somewhat uses a certain value or a certain rule in order for it to follow in a standard format. Now, how does this relate in mathematics? In math, we have what we call the number pattern. A number pattern is a set of numbers that follows a certain pattern. That pattern is considerably related to each of all the numbers in that given set. The most common number pattern is the counting numbers. If we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth, the pattern here is very simple. You are just counting by 1. Or if we put it into a certain rule, the pattern is, is simply N. Why N? If we consider the first term, the second term, to the next term, we are just considering its actual number. Example, the first term is 1, the second term is 2, the third term is 3, and so on and so forth. Now, let's consider another set of numbers. We have 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on and so forth. Now, what is the pattern on this given set? Now, if we consider, this, the pattern is very simple. We are skip counting, right? 3, skip count, then 5, skip count, then now, the pattern here is very simple. You just add plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, that is the pattern. How about this? We have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. What is the pattern here? Now, it's very simple because the first thing you should know about patterns is you ask yourself from the first term going to the next term, what have you done? What happened? What did you add? Okay. Now, what happened to 2? Why it became 4? It was added by 2. Now, what happened to 4? Why it became 8? On the next term, it was added by 4. Now, what happened to 8? Why it became 16? It was added by 8. Now, as we can see, the pattern is not uniform. Okay? So, therefore, this is not the correct pattern on this given figure. Now, it's not just about adding number. When you get the pattern of a certain set of numbers, you can also use um, a combination of subtraction, multiplication, and division. So since in this given, it is not all about addition, so we can consider subtraction. But if we consider this one, there is no subtraction in this kind of set because the set is increasing. It started from lowest to highest. So, subtraction is not possible. Now, let's consider multiplication. What factor is multiplied by 2? Why it became 4? Okay, and that is 2. What number is multiplied by 4 to become 8? That is the same. Multiply by 2. What happened to 8? Why it became 16? What did we multiply? It became 2. So, therefore, the pattern in this given set is times 2. Okay, so that also goes here. Now, if we continue that set, we can still know the next preceding terms. Okay, so that is how we considered a certain pattern. But 
in this lesson, number pattern is most commonly known as sequences. Okay. Now, a sequence is a number pattern in which it uses a certain rule. It may be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, or even the combination of both, and even other kind of techniques. Now, let me just emphasize this. When we are talking about number patterns or sequences, there are a lot of kind. We have the arithmetic sequence, the geometric sequence, the Fibonacci sequence, and the harmonic sequence. Some other books considered the square sequences, the triangle sequences. So there are a lot of sequences out there. But the technique here is very simple. You just need to consider the pattern from the first set to the second set or from a certain term to the next term. Now, why am I using the word term? Term here is the elements or the members inside the set. You can name this as terms or you can also name this as elements. So this can be the first element, second element, third element, and so on and so forth. This can be the first term, the second term, third term, fourth term, and so on and so forth. So therefore, if this is the given sequence, meaning that is a set of numbers, each of the elements inside there can be called elements, members, or terms. Okay? Now, let me emphasize also that this video is an introduction about the whole topic in grade 10, quarter 1, which is all about sequences. Sequences is commonly known as number patterns. Okay? Now, what are the things you need to know about number pattern or sequences? The first is that what are the kinds of sequences? In this quarter, we will consider four different sequences. The arithmetic, the geometric, the Fibonacci, and the harmonic sequences. There are also the types of sequences in which the sequence is divided into two categories known as the finite sequence and the infinite sequence. This is an example of an infinite sequence. Okay? Why? Because as you can see, we have here an ellipsis, meaning this set goes on. Okay? However, this kind of set is known as the finite sequence because it started from 2 and it ends on the fifth term. Okay? So that's as simple as that. Clear? Now, in this lesson, you will also know about series. What are series? The series is what we call the sum of a certain sequence. You will also know about means. We have the arithmetic means and the geometric means. Means are the elements on the middle of a certain given terms. Example, if we have here given 2 and given 32, these 4, 8, and 6 are known as means. Okay? Very simple. Next, another thing that you should know is all about the explicit formula. Explicit formula is technically the rule that is being used in order to get the first, the next, and the, the preceding terms. So basically, an explicit formula is just like this. 5n plus 1. Okay, let's say this is the explicit formula of a certain set. Okay, or a certain sequence. Now, the question is, what are the first five terms of this given sequence? So, when we say first five terms, what we will do is, we will tend to get the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. The question is, how? Okay. Now, consider this, that this is N, and this is also N. The time that you change this N, this A sub N, the time that you change n into a number, you just also change the value of n in the given equation or in the given expression. So we have here 5n plus 1. If it became a sub 1, then it means 5 times 1 plus 1. So I just change n into 1. Okay? So 5 times 1, that is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. Alright. Now how about 2? So this will become 5 times 2 plus 1. So that is 5 times 2, that is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. How about 3? So I just changed n into 3 here. So 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 1, that is 16. Now as you can see, you, you now have the picture of the first, the second, and the third term. So this is a count. 
this is a sequence that is by 5, right? So from this point, you can now have that this 6 becomes 11, that means plus 5. This 11 became 16, that means plus 5. So therefore, in getting the 4th term and the 5th term, you just add plus 5 on the preceding terms. So 16 plus 5, that will be 21. 21 plus 5, that is 26. So you now have your first 5 terms such as 6, 11, 16, 21, and 26 from the given explicit formula. Simple, right? Okay, so I hope you have learned something about how to generate patterns. Remember, in generating patterns, you just ask yourself what happened to the first term, why it changes into that second term. Um, was it added? Was it multiplied? Was it subtracted? Or was it divided by a certain number? Then, remember that if you consider that kind of change from the first to the second, it should also follow that kind of change from the second to the third, third to the fourth, and so on and so forth. So I hope you get the clear picture of our topic in grade 10, quarter 1, week 1 up to week 5. Okay? So this is still your free access math teacher, Ash. Always remember that it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you, God bless, and keep safe.